Microjig, maker of the gripper. Work safer, work smarter. A couple of years ago, I made my kids' teachers pencil holders as an end of year gift. I thought I would do that again this year, but this time I'm gonna make them using box joints, and I'm gonna do that utilizing my new Inker iBox. I've got a piece of Padoop that I thought would be perfect for this project. So the first thing I'm gonna do is clean up this rough edge of the joiner, then I'm gonna take it over to the table saw and cut it to width. So now that I have this piece of Badook cut to rough width, I need to flatten one face before we can plane it to thickness. Now for that, I'm gonna use my joiner, but if you don't have a joiner, you could do this with a hand plane. So with the board planed to thickness, I can go ahead and cut it to its final width, which is five and a half inches. For the joiner for this pencil holder, I'm gonna use a finger joint or a box joint. And to accomplish that, I'm gonna use my iBox by Inkra. The iBox can be used either at the table saw or the router table. I'm gonna use mine at the table saw and I'm using a stacked data set. The first thing you need to do is calibrate your iBox and you only need to do this operation once unless you move your iBox to your router table. All you need to do is with the pin plates closed is move the pin plates into the side of the data set and just so that they just barely touch the side of the blade. And to do that, you hold the red knob still and rotate the silver knob. After you have your iBox calibrated, the first thing you need to do before you can use it is take your stock and put it on top of the platform of the iBox, push it up against your blade and adjust the height of the data set so that it's just barely above your stock. Next thing I need to do is capture the exact width of the curve of this data set. And to do that, I'm gonna use some scrap wood. So with the guard out of the way, all you need to do now is take your stock that you cut that kerf into, put it over top of the pin plates, and adjust the opening of the pin plates until you get a friction fit. Right there, and then just tighten down this knob. So before jumping right in and making box joints on my Padook, I made a box joint on some scrap wood. And uh, it came out pretty good, but it was a little loose. And in the instruction manual, it tells you about adjusting this silver knob on the end of the eye box to make it either a tighter or a looser fit. With a piece of chalk, I'm gonna put a reference mark on one side of all my boards. Now I just need to cut the mating pins for the other two boards, and the process for that is a little bit different. And yes, I know I have a partial pin on these two boards, and we'll take care of that later. So I'm gonna take one of the other two boards with the mark now facing in the other direction, and place it on top of the pin plate. Now I'm gonna take one of the other boards that we need to cut the pins in and slide it up against the first board. And just clamp it down, and we can start cutting some pins. Because I miscalculated the size of my fingers for this width of board, I ended up with partial fingers on each end. So what I'm going to do is cut those off at the table saw, and I'm going to do that really carefully using a gripper. I need to make a groove in the bottom of all four sides of the pencil holder, and in two of the sides I need to make a stop groove. To do this, I'm going to use a quarter inch spiral bit in the router cable. At the router table, I'm gonna use a wrapping bit and make a rabbit all the way around the perimeter of this base.
Because I intentionally left the dado blade a little bit higher than the thickness of the material, I'm left with proud fingers. Now I need to go back and clean these up, and I took care of most of it at the table saw. Now I'm just going to use a hand plane and take it the rest of the way down so that it's nice and flush. So after sending the box to 220 grit and putting on a coat of Millie's tongue oil finish, I'm really happy with how this turned out. If you're in the market for a box joint jig, definitely give Inkra's iBox a serious look. I can tell you mine will not be collecting dust in the shop. Thanks for watching, guys.